Well, hello everybody. Today we got something quick and easy, but a lot of fun. So this is my take on a very simple creme brulee. Basically, I took vanilla instant pudding mix and just made that up. But I also added a couple tablespoons of coffee into the milk when I mix it up. So you get that nice coffee flavor in the creme, in your vanilla, just kind of like a creme brulee sometimes. But the best part is the blowtorch. We're going to put some sugar on top of this and we are going to caramelize the top just like a creme brulee you would get out at a restaurant and it has that nice cracking sound to it and really tasty caramelized great to eat so we're just going to spread our sugar on top of our pudding and now it's time to unleash the torch. And you're just going to put this down close to the sugar. Just keep it moving. You don't want to burn it. And I know not everybody has one of these, but they're relatively inexpensive. They're easy to refill. And it is certainly a lot of fun to use and a great presentation. And it tastes really, really good with that just crunchy caramel on top. After you caramelize all this nice sugar. And it's just regular plain old sugar. Nothing special. As you can see, that's it. We got a little puffs of smoke there. That's okay. Now you're going to want to let this put it, put this back in the fridge for at least 10 minutes. Um, but you know, you can make it ahead of time um, or do it in front of your guests with the blowtorch. That's a lot of fun. Put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. So I have one that I had already done and set up. So you can kind of see, you know, when I take this spoon and crack it open. And now you got all these wonderful little pieces of caramelized sugar to go with your vanilla pudding that you've made with that coffee flavor. Really great, fun, quick dessert, and kind of impressive for your friends with the blowtorch. So I hope you enjoyed this quick and simple recipe. Maybe you'll get a torch of your own and have some fun. Thanks.